103.5 KTU, the beat of New York with Hollywood Hamilton. Uh, of course, backstage KT Euphoria. Century 21, Enrique. Let's have some respect. Is that the uh, department store? That's the department store. That's where I get all my underwear. Did he kill or what? Yeah. You murdered it. It was good. It was good. Good crap. How you doing, my man? KTU fans are good. Yeah. I haven't seen you in a while. I know. I haven't seen, well, actually, I haven't seen you for two years. Two years. Why well, you have a good memory? I know. Yeah. Same place. Actually, the last place I saw you was in, uh, not, not here, it was the night after in the Jones Beach. You, you know don't even what? remember this shit. I, I, what kind of memory do you have? I do. I have one of those, you know, I got short-term, like, bad memory, but right, I got right, good right. long-term memory. Well, you killed it tonight. Everybody it loved you, of course. Good crowd. So now, I noticed, what, what's going on with Anna? I haven't seen, she doesn't, she doesn't travel with you, right? She does, but I keep it undercover. I keep it, you know, I'm one of those, I like to now, get I know a, you're very private. No, maybe. I know, I like to get home and make sure that I don't turn on the computer. I, I like my private life as private as I possible. Private well, at least my personal life as private as possible. Right. We all do, don't we? Yeah. Uh -huh. To a certain degree. Right. Most of us. Yes, of course. But when she doesn't travel at all with you. I mean, you never no, see her does. backstage. I never see her anywhere. We run into each other a lot. And yeah, I never... you do. You just don't know. You just don't know. <laughs> do you play tennis? Uh, I do, but bad. Yeah, okay. Bad tennis. So what's up with Enrique? What are you doing? What's going on? Right now, I'm just, um, it was all about KTU. Yeah, yeah. You know, from here and you go. <laughs> no, from here I go to Philadelphia. From Philadelphia, I'm actually home for a few days. I'm going to be in the studio working. Um, I'm trying to just settle down for a few, at least even six, seven, even if it's just two weeks so I can settle down and just write some songs. Right. Um, every time I see you, you say that. I want to settle no, down. No, no, I wanna, no. When I say settle down, I mean I, I need time. The, the thing for me is that I'm unlucky in that way that I need time to write songs. You never know when it's going to come to you. It's, right, exactly. It's, I, I say this all the time. It's like going fishing. Sometimes you get it. You know, sometimes you catch a big one. Sometimes you don't. <laughs> you go there for an hour. You know, you fish. <laughs> you do fish? No. <laughs> you no. don't fish. Okay, well, you, well, you know. No, it, go ahead. It's a pretty good analogy. So, uh, after this, um, I go on tour with uh, Jennifer and Wisini Andel. Yeah, I know. You're getting ready to do July that. And, yeah, of course, of course. Uh, July, August. Normally, you love to bring all females up on stage with you. I didn't see that tonight. You didn't bring them up. You, you, I bring anybody who wants to come up on I, stage. Yeah, I, I, anybody I, I who's you, dying to I come up on stage. I you in Minneapolis, and you had some girls around you kissing them on the cheek and everything. Oh, my God, they love that. You did not do that tonight. No, I don't do it all the time. Right. It, all, it, it all depends. Um, you never know who you're going to get up on stage. It could right. be, you know, I don't care. It could be a kid. It could be a girl. It could be whoever. It could be a grandfather or a grandmother. Whoever wants to come up on stage. For me, just to be, just to have, to be blessed enough to be on stage and to have yeah. those people pay money to see you, I mean, of sing course. your songs. I mean, I'm very fortunate. Yeah. Um, what would you be doing if you weren't in this industry? What do you think you'd be up to? What, do you, what would you be doing? I'd be doing radio. I've asked you everything before. I'd be working for ever... Clear Channel. Yeah. <laughs> he, Joe? My boss, he'd be working for Clear Channel if he wasn't singing, he said. Yeah. I wouldn't own the stock, but I would be, uh, I would like to be in radio. Yeah. No Actually, kidding. radio's a good, yeah, because it's good. It's, yeah. For me, I grew up listening to radio, so right. for me, it's one of those things. In that Spain. I grew up in Spain until I was eight years old, yeah. and I moved to Miami. That's why I have yeah. that mixed accent. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, but there's nothing like listening to one of your songs on the radio. Yeah, yeah. It is. For me, I've always been, like, extremely intrigued with radio. I'll be getting back to Ibiza again this summer uh, in I August. Uh, you I want to go to Ibiza because it's a whole DJ scene. Yeah. I mean, it's that, that whole dance scene that's oh. going, been going on. And I grew up in Spain, you know, so it's like know, crazy. You know. You're going? I'm going in August. In August. I'm going in August. You know what, though? You do a lot of drugs? Uh, I do some drugs, yes. Only just, in August? Uh, did I just say that? He just asked me if I did drugs. And I you said, only do drugs in August? Only in August. Ibiza? <laughs> yeah. yeah. Now, why do you associate, you your, from why do you associate your country with drugs? You got... <laughs> I didn't you say just, that. You just did. I didn't say that. You just said I said August. All right, okay, all right. Don't f*** with me. All right, I won't, I won't, I won't. Okay. I'm, you know what Don't I want to say? Don't try to turn the words around. Before I get out of here, I want to say, you are, I've watched you backstage. You take your time with every single fan. You really are a good, and I'm going to tell you, good person with fans. No, you are. No, you, are. you are very, that. no, you are a very good person. You know what fans. it is? I, when I started doing this, if you would have asked me, I would have told you there's no way I'm going to be doing this two years from now when I first began my career. 
And here I am, 15 years later, and I'm still doing this. I can't believe it. I really appreciate it. Well, we have so many people that come in and out here, but you're, you're really genuine the way you treat your fans and the way you uh, you just cater to them and you take your time with them. No, if and it I know for them, I wouldn't we, be here. We have, like, we have like 400 people back there ready to meet you right now, and I know you will take your time now, with each and every one of them. I only do 350 a day. <laughs> so 50 got to stay out. If you had a chance to look into this camera right now to talk to all the females and a couple guys, what would you want to say? What would what would you if you well, were only a couple that, guys? There's a couple guys out there. There's, you know, a few, but, there's a lot of secure guys out there. True. What would you want to say? I just look to all the fans. Just thank you so so much for letting me be here. I was doing KTU. I was doing this show back in 2001. Actually, yeah, 2001. And here I am, 2012, doing it again. Just thank you so much, and thank you guys for supporting me. But if it wasn't for, you know what? The fans, they support you guys, and they support us, mm -hmm. the artists. Uh, Enrique, as always, you are a gentleman, and we really appreciate you being a part of KTU Euphoria. Mr. Hollywood, you're the <laughs> <laughs> All right, baby, I love you.